What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back bringing you guys part six for my playthrough on Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shine and Pearl for the Nintendo Switch. So guys, in the last episode, we actually defeated our second gym for this playthrough. And in today's video, we're going to be heading to Hearthrome City towards the third gym and maybe collecting yet another Pokemon for our team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smash that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button seriously it goes a long way thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out across the channel i've been loving this game and having a blast doing a playthrough on it so seriously it does go a long way but if you guys want to catch more content from me link down in the description below and name is right on this layout head over to my twitch page jeans25 on twitch we have a whole separate playthrough over there where we are actually almost done the game we will probably be done the game by this video, time this video goes live but we will be doing post game content online battles over there and all that good stuff and team building so definitely make your way over there come hang out with me help me build some teams but uh we're here on cyclist road we did get a bike in the last episode so what we have to do is actually make our way down cyclist road and then hit the route to the right and then go over towards hearthrome city right i think that's the place we're going towards but our team's looking pretty good. I am liking where our team is sitting. We have a Weasel right here. We have a Grottle and we have a Togepi. And I do not know when Togepi is going to evolve. But I'm hoping we can actually evolve Weasel in today's video. Because he does evolve at level 26. Which is awesome. And he is at 22. Can we actually get him to 23 here? I don't know what his XP bars are. I do not know what his XP bars are. And okay. He just turned to 22. So we're hoping to maybe get him in today's video. That would be awesome. That would be actually really, really good. We definitely have to have him by the time we hit the third gym because the Lucario in the third gym is level 30. And that thing is a, it's a pretty tough Pokemon. It's a pretty strong Pokemon, but we're on Cyclist Road. We defeated two of the trainers in the last episode. So we were, we were like, basically like we halfway through this. There's five total trainers. So we're just going to make our way down here, defeating them as quickly as possible and then moving forward, which is awesome, which is great. But yeah, we got a bike that, that allows us to go up and down hills and obviously down towards this path, which is dope. We can actually get towards our next area. But this dude throws out a Starly. I'm just going to keep sending my water guns. It's stab. Let's get it moving. But yeah, Weasel's been a blast to play with. I just love his Pokemon so much. I think he's really strong. And I was looking at his nature as well. We, we got a really good nature with him as Adamant. We have that. Oh, wait. Was it Adamant? Yeah, it was Adamant. So we have a special attack decrease, but an attack buff. But this thing is physical attacking. So that is huge. That is just perfect. It's like the perfect nature for this Pokemon. We double water gun. We say Starly, get on out of my game. He falls down. He dies. He goes to his death. He goes to his death. And also, was it the last episode? No, it wasn't the last episode. I was going to say last episode we unlocked the Underground Explorers kit. But no, that was the episode before. I'm getting mixed up with all my uploads because I'm a little bit ahead on recordings than on what's actually uploaded on the YouTube. But what are going to fly out here? But I can tell you guys now that my stream team is done who was on it. So when I was streaming, I had uh, Empoleon as my starter. I finally got Gallade, we got Roserade on that team, we caught ourselves a Garchomp, and then, uh, what were the two other ones? Why can't I think of them? Why can't I think of them? Oh, Haunchgrow and Ch Ch Houndoom. There it is. Awesome squad right there, so we got a bunch of coverage, but yo, I'm telling you, this team right here about to be better. This team about to be better. It's already looking spiffy with the Floatzel, Togekiss, and Torterra combo. But I'm thinking of maybe catching yet another Pokemon for the squad in today's episode. We will see. I think if we are going to do it... I would do it more so at the end of the video. It is an underground. We have to catch him in the underground. But he's a really strong Pokemon. And I think I definitely want to get him before the third gym. Definitely want to get him before the third gym. And then the two other Pokemon that are supposed to be on the squad we get later in the game. So if I can get all four of these guys, start leveling up, kind of just going through the game. I think the other guys are going to be perfect to grab late game and help us out with defeating the Elite Four. And becoming the champion. And becoming the champion. But. Oh. When, uh, since I finished the game on stream, I'm going to start streaming and uploading uh, online double battles and online single battles to this YouTube channel and be streaming them. So that's going to be a lot of fun. I cannot wait to do that. It's going to be a pain to actually breed teams until Pokemon Home comes out here, but that's going to be super late. That, that Pokemon Home comes out when, like, I think Legends Arceus comes out. It's going to be super late because the reason it's going to be so hard is because we do not have a Ditto. We do not have Ditto in this game, so breeding is just going to be an absolute pain for building teams and stuff. It's just going to take 10 times longer, but with the inclusion of Pokemon Home when it comes out, that's when breeding becomes easier because everybody can transfer their 5 EVs, 6 EV, or 6 perfect IV Dittos over onto this game and then use them to, uh, to breed. But yeah, I feel like without the Ditto, it's just really tough and it's just a pain in the neck. But Weasel's been a big part of this squad ever since he learned Water Gun. He hits a lot harder, he can actually stand his own in battle, and he's rolling out pretty good. But look at that, he just takes out a nice little Staravia, and he gets a decent amount of XP for his squad. A decent amount of XP for his squad, but we can keep moving forward. I think that's everybody on the cyclist road. Am I correct? 
Nope, we got one more. We got one more. I guess it was six. Maybe we should have did three in the last episode. But we're flying through these guys. We've been recording for like five minutes, and we're just totally going through them. A lot of them do not have a lot of uh, Pokemon, so they are fine and easy to train up against because it's just free XP, basically. And it's free cash, especially when they have one Pokemon you just throw them. You get some free Poke Cash, stack it up your bread. Get to stack up my bread. But Water Gun's going to fly here. We might actually die to the Zubat. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, no, we do more than half. That's great. Oh, never mind. He's going to heal up a little bit. He's going to heal up a little bit. And now we might not be able to KO it with this next Water Gun. It's going to be close. Dude, this thing might get a free Focus Ash, and I'm going to be upset. I'm going to be upset. Water Gun pops out here. Let's see how we do. Okay, we get rid of him. Awesome, dope. We don't have to waste another turn. We don't have to waste any more time on this bland little Zubat. But Togepi's also level 22. He's been leveling up pretty well. But like I said, the only problem with Togepi, Togepi is going to be leveling that thing up through friendship. It's going to be an absolute pain, and it's going to be a lot easier for us, especially once we get the... Uh... Dude, I underestimate how many trainers are on this route. This is nuts. I thought there was five. <laughs> I thought there was five. We definitely underestimated it. But uh, like I said, when we hit Hearthroom City, you can actually go to Amenity Square, which allows you to uh, get that function where Pokemon can follow you around in the overworld. So when that happens, it can actually boost friendship of Pokemon. So when that happens, we're going to put Togepi in that one spot. And Togepi is going to be able to get his friendship up because that just boosts it. it just boosts it all around. But Water Gun's going to fly. Hopefully, we can KO this thing in two. I think it should be able to. Be able to eat up whatever it has to, or whatever electric move it has to use. Yeah, beautiful. That's exactly what I want. He's able to eat up. He's going to be able to take out the Shinx. And then we can swap into our Grottle or our Togepi. Probably our Grottle. For this, uh, for this next Pokemon. For this next lovely little Pokemon. Give me that XP, please. And she's about to send out a Shinx. Yeah, let's switch out. Let's go Grottle here. Grottle's got that bite. He's got that Razor Leaf. This thing is getting into, or it's starting to become a huge threat. It's starting to become a huge threat. And it actually evolves very, very soon. 32? That's only six levels away. That is six levels away. We will not get it in this episode. I'm thinking of the next one. I'm thinking of the next one. Because next one, we might be fighting the gym leader. I don't know. The route is really long. The route is really long. Razor Leaf's going to fly her. He avoids it. What do you mean? What do you mean? Dude avoids my god dang Razor Leaf. Let's send it again. He's going to get it. There she blows. Oh, she blows. One hit. Get him out of my game. Get him gone. So we got... I don't even know how many trainers left because I really thought we had like three when we first started but now we're rolling we're all like lucky number five for today's video <laughs> we're just getting after it but I know the route at the end has a decent amount of trainers uh, oh my god why'd I go into that I should have healed up my Bweez man I should have healed up my Bweezel hopefully she has one Pokemon we'll see how this one plays out she does have one Pokemon let's see who it is but I believe this is the last trainer and it is Pikachu the Bweezel you got to get out of here. You got to get out of here. I want all the XP for my Buizel. Because like I said, I'm trying to evolve this thing into a Floatzel in today's video. We're going to try to evolve this thing into a Floatzel for today's video. But I don't know if it's going to happen. It's going to be cutting it close. We're definitely going to be cutting it close. So we are going to be leading him a lot. Trying to get him out there. Trying to get after it. And I'm not really going to be using... Oh, yo. This thing's got Electro Ball. That just reminds me of Pokemon Unite. That move. Looks exactly like they did it in Pokemon Unite. But I'm not really going to be using uh, Togepi too much until we kind of evolve it because it really can't do anything like i'll get it out if i can but like i need it to be evolved i need to get that flying type in it can hit a little bit harder that way and then shiny stone we get the shiny stone after the six gym right after the six gym so we do have plenty of time to actually level that thing up but toe kiss is going to be a threat when we do finally get that thing evolved but there we go last person on the route i believe that is yep awesome dope we get rid of that thing and we can start heading towards the next route which is to the right towards Hearthroom City and more importantly we get to uh, visit Mount Coronet and I get to show you guys where a Dawnstone is if you guys are looking for a Dawnstone if you guys need it I did get this one for my Gallade in my stream playthrough I'll show you guys exactly where it is at I can't get it right now you need to beat the fifth gym I believe in order to get it but I will show you guys exactly where it's at but we pop out to route 207 and Dawn is here what up Dawn hi jeans how's your Pokedex coming along with me I uh, has somewhere been fantastic blah 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 bibbidi bobbidi boobidi bobbidi but she gives us the versus seeker which is actually pretty good it's actually decent i like to get a good old versus seeker using that versus seeker you can find trainers who want to rematch with you so it's all about rematches so it's if you want to get more xp you just check the versus seeker i will seek out opponents that want rematches so you can go battle them and actually get some uh, more xp for your pokemon but we finished that up now we can actually head to the right here into a new route and i'm actually going to heal up the squad i'm gonna check the town map make sure we're going the right way yep over towards heartthrome city and i really do like that city i really do like the city i just think it's all around cool 
But more importantly, we are going to just heal up the Weasel. And we're just going to keep rolling. No need to stop at a Poke Stop right now. We got a double battle out here. I could bring out Togepi, but we're going with Weasel and Grottle. And we're just going to get after it. We are just going to get after it. But this is my double squad for right now. We do have Raise Leaf, which hits both, which is good. So maybe we can uh, double down on Pokemon with Water Gun and Raise Leaf. So we'll see. Ponita and Pachirisu come through here. I don't like this one, yo. I don't like this one one bit. Yo, that's like total counter for me. That is total counter for me. We do not like this. I might double down into Ponita. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to double down into the Ponita slot. We're going to get rid of it. We're not going to drop a Razor Leaf. We get an after sync. Can I bite finish that off? I think it might be able to. Bonita is going to send a tackle, so that's good. Pachirisu, do not use electric move. He's going to use spark. Go after Grotto. Nope. Jeez, yo. Does some damage onto my boys, man. Bite's going to pop. Yo, you take that thing out. Yes, sir. Bite finishes that thing off. And what can I do for Weasel here? Because I really don't want him to die. We are going to get a nice fancy level. Three more levels. I'm thinking we're going to be kind of close here for evolution for Weasel. And he wants to learn Mega Drain, and that is going to be awesome. We definitely want to learn Mega Drain. I'm going to get rid of, uh, we're going to get rid of Cut. I only really had cut because of uh for that coverage move. I think I am gonna get rid of cut. But I do like having growth, so let's get rid of cut here. But I still definitely want Razor Leaf. Mega Drain's going to work wonders for getting HP back. And hopefully I can find a big root very soon so I can actually give this thing a big root. That can just be dope. But I could bite, I could swift. I think water gun's gonna be our play. And we might actually want to head back towards the uh Let's see what let's see which one's more power. I might actually want to head back towards uh town. Just the what's it called? Just to get the uh, my moves back. Because Pachirisu is really low on moves. So I might actually go do that. Come on, yo. You really avoid that attack? Yeah, because we only have five water guns left. We definitely are going to need more. So I think that is going to be the play. We're going to send that. And what is Pachirisu going to go for? He's going to go for Spark. And that's going to say bye-bye to Weasel. God dang it, man. Weasel out for the count. So we're definitely going back to that uh to that place. But don't worry. Grottle and Togekiss will, or Togepi will get the XP. See, now, if that thing hit on the last turn. I don't know why it misses so much. It's 95 accuracy. That would have hit on the last turn. We would have been thriving there. But there we go. Later, skaters. Give me your money. Now, do they both give me money? Or is it like a combined? We got paid a thousand. I think it's combined. But there we go. Take that out. Let's actually roll back here. We're going to use our Una Bicicleta. Oh, I don't have it set. I have it set in my uh in my other game. So I'm so used to just hitting the uh, plus button. And just having my bike pop out. But we definitely got to register it into our... Uh, what's it called? Into our plus. So let's do that right now so I don't forget. But on the bike, register, and I like to do the down one. Perfect. Bike is now registered. Awesome, cool, dope, cool. Let's roll. I thought I should register my explorer's kit too. I actually didn't do that on my stream game. I just always go into my bag, press it, and then I want to call hit use. But I should just register. It would make things so much easier. That's why they had the register slot. You gotta register that, a rod, a bike, and then uh what what's one other thing that you can register? I don't really know. But we're going to make our way up here. Right here, hit B, get our speed boost, and we are on the move. Super potion for us, and we are versing the rock guy. So this is actually perfect for us. Like I said, uh, I've been saying in like the last couple uh, videos of this playthrough, that what's called, that the early game with like Grotto and Voitzel with this team was a little challenging, but I feel like we're going to start moving towards everything going our way. Look, we're versing a bunch of rock people. We can thrive with the rock. We can thrive. We got water and grass. We will be unstoppable. Weasel comes out here. This guy has two Pokemon, and we're just going to send our water guns. Water gun. Uh, hey. Get him gone. Thank God these things don't have sturdy. I hate hitting a, uh, a Geodude twice because it has sturdy. I just feel like it's such a waste of time. Uh, give me all that XP. Uh, I should actually... Uh, nah, we shouldn't have swapped. Best bet's probably having Weasel out here going with water guns. Bronzers are a little bit of a pain. The Bronzers are a little bit of a pain. He's gonna go for a confusion. That's gonna do a little bit of damage, but should be fine. Should be fine as long as we don't get ducked. Good. No ducks on us. No ducks on us. Water gun's gonna fly here. And I wonder, is, is Bite super effective? I kind of want to try it. Because he is steel typing, and Dark is super effective too. Dark is super effective to Psychic. Psychic can steal. And it is super effective. We should have been biting this whole time. We should have been biting this whole time. Should have known that. I just thought maybe the steel kind of, you know, canceled out. I always used to see bite as like a normal move, but it's dark. It's dark. It just looks like a it just looks like a normal move, you know? But there should be another trainer up this way. Can we get up here? Oh no, we have to go around this way. There we go. 
little crevice in the wall. A little crevice in the wall leads us over here. We got a few trainers over here, so we're gonna be tackling on all three of these guys and then rolling through. But yo, we are steam rolling through on this episode. We were getting a bunch of trainers done. We were just whooping on them left and right. But like I said, the routes are start or, or this route at least is gonna be a little bit bigger than normal. Weasel, get on out there, baby. Little tube around his neck. Little tube around his neck. Go for water guns. Yeah, this thing's just like the Starly killer. It's just I'm always using it up against Starlies. Oh no. <laughs> it's gonna double team, but but luckily we have Swift. Swift will never miss. Swift will never miss, so that is the go-to move here. We only need a little bit of HP. We gonna send it. Yeah, oh get them all out of here. Now can they dodge Swift? That's the question. That's the real question. Can they dodge Swift? I don't know if they can. Togepi's gonna get that level. And also gonna send out Geo Dude so we keep our lovely little Buizel out here. Our lovely little sea otter. Who's a good sea otter? Send my water gun. Please don't be sturdy. Do a little tail flip. Love how he uses his moves, dude. Hops up, like floats in the air for a second, and then like spins his tail. His two tails. He has a double tail, which is sick. Do sea otters usually have tails like that? I feel like they might. I'm not sure though. I'm not sure though. But obviously it could just be like a Pokemon thing, because obviously it's Pokemon, it's just a design. But they have split tails, that's sick. That would be sick. Weasel picks up the KO on poor little Chim, and we get a nice little chunk of XP. You know, Weasel is flying here. I don't know, do we have a, we might have a rare candy, which I would love to use on. I would love to use on. Keep making our way here and go here. And if I really want to evolve Floatzel, I can honestly just go down into the underground. Underground's where it's at. I have this nice little area. It's like the uh, the Fountain Spring Cave, where you just first gash it, and then obviously I have Grottle, and Grottle just rips through them. Or I can just go to the spacious ones, and and tee off on Weasel, with Weasel. Water gun up, uh, gone. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping we can make it to Hearthorn. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. We should be able to. He's gonna keep sending out Geo dudes. As long as these Geo dudes don't have sturdy, we should be fine. We're just thriving. But that's a that's the downfall to playing a uh, Pokemon on recording and doing it in one shot is you have to kind of crunch everything because I don't want the videos to be too too long. I think 40 minutes is like a good time for a Pokemon playthrough, 30 to 40 minutes. But oh, so let's switch. Let's go in the Grottle. Let's go in the Grottle. But but like I was saying, I just don't want to like exceed and go over like and record for like an hour and upload an hour video. I just feel like that's long. But let me know you guys is uh what you guys think about length of YouTube videos in the comment section down below. If you think they should be longer for playthroughs and like shorter for uh shorter for like online battles like just let me know what how you guys like like to watch videos but there we go pick up the ko on him and we thrive we thrive judo's gonna come out here i, I mean i'll keep rattle back out here rattle's here even though i'm trying to bob my boy go for a mega drain and see how this looks i only saw absorb mega drain just looks like a lesser giga drain I haven't used a Pokemon with Mega Drain in this game yet until now. Only use Absorb and then Giga Drain. I remember when I, remember when I first like learned that there was three of them. I was like, oh, I have Absorb, and then they want to learn Mega Drain. I was like, oh, Mega Drain's a better Absorb, and then like they want to learn a Giga Drain. I was like, yo, no way, there's Giga Drain. I just think it's so cool. We get our dire hit. Let's get a move on. We got one more trainer before we head into the cave, and that is going to be you, Missy over here, and obviously. Since you guys have been watching the playthroughs, you guys know that your boy likes to train on everybody. He like he likes to whoop on everybody. We get all the money, we get all the XP, and we're thriving. He's gonna send out Metatite first. Pokemon. And this is just preparing me for the next gym. Next gym is fighting. Next gym is fighting. And it is a cool one. I do like the next gym. I do like the next gym. Well, we don't bring it past half, and I don't like that. Force Palm's gonna fly. Well, that's a big damage. My boy gonna die here? Water gonna KO. Hey, water gun. Yes, sir. Was that a crit? Ooh! Boizel! Boizel, leave him all alone! Leave him all alone. I mean, at XP, we might be able to level up this next one. He's going to throw out a Machop, so I am actually just going to switch into Grottle. But I think Machop can just uh, tee off on my Weasel. So we'll swap into Grottile. Yeah, I can't wait to get a Torterra. Just grow a tree on the back. It's so nice having that thing above at 32. Okay, 32 is going to be great. Whenever we defeat the third gym, we should be able to have this thing at level 10. I'm thinking. Almost take that thing out. He is going to go for a low kick. Going to do a little bit of damage. And then we're just going to slip or uh, slap up on this thing with a 
with a razor leaf. I probably should use Mega Drain, has higher accuracy, but hey, it is what it is. It is what it is. Alright, let's rock out. Let's roll, people. We can't get that Pokeball yet without a rock climb. I do want to heal up the squad. Well, at least just Buizel. You guys know the deal with that one. Buizel's a little low. Give me them super potions. Let's roll. Beautiful. Back to full health. 23. 23. I do not think we're going to get 26. I thought we were going to get a lot closer than this, but we make our way to Mount Coronet. And like I said, I did want to show you guys exactly where to get a Dawnstone. And obviously, we have a cutscene first. <laughs> now, I think Dawnstone is actually like right behind us. It is legit right behind us. But we meet this guy. He is like leader of Team Galactic over here. I believe his name is Cyrus, right? I believe that's his name. But he's just like, yeah, you move out the way. I'm doing stuff and things. And we're chilling at Mount Coronet. But if you want to get a Dawnstone, you need Surf right here. You legit just Surf across this uh, water right here. And bang, you are done. You are done. You get Surf. Or no, you don't get Surf. You get a Dawnstone. So you can evolve a Snow Run into a Frost Lass with that. You can evolve a Curlia into a Gallade with that. It's just awesome all around. It's just really good. But that is basically, you just walk through Mount Coronet. You can't really do anything here <clears throat> until you get like Strength and other moves and Surf. So in the meantime, we just leave. There's nothing for us to do here. But make our way to the next route, which is Route 208. Lovely little 208. And I think this is a, the one that's a little bit longer. But eventually, we're going to have to come back here in late game. Because there's waterfalls. You can surf up waterfalls. And there's other trainers that you can burst. But in the meantime, we're just going to keep making our way to Heart Throne. Definitely want to get pairing up with Pokemon. I definitely want to be able to buddy up with Pokemon. Definitely want to get the Heart Throne. Hopefully, we can do it. But Water Gun's flying. <clears throat> I might just make it a priority. I might just make this video as long as I possibly can. To make sure that we get the heart throw. But I need my Buizel to evolve. Almost 24, baby. Almost 24. He's going to send out another Chia dude. He will be 24 here. We're going to have to start versing harder enemies. But I think we should be able to get this in level 6. Or 26, I should say. I think it's 26. It, it will evolve. Dang, we get rid of Geo, dude. Let's get him move on. Level up. 24, baby. I wish we did have a rare candy. He wants to learn Aqua Jet. Oh, yes, of course. I'll probably keep Aqua Jet on this Pokemon for like forever. We get rid of Quick Attack for that because it's basically the same thing. It's first turn priority, but Aqua Jet is stabbed for Weasel. So great little move we can learn for that guy. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Aqua Jet, yo. God, I love it. I love it. And I think Aqua Jet might have more base power than Water Gun. Water Gun's a weak water move. Uh, we'll see how that one plays out. Let's head over this guy. Come here, buddy. The Karate Man. Karate. Every time I think of karate, I just think of Spongebob when they're on Karate Island. Karate. I like money, eh? <laughs> it's just like Sandy and Spongebob working in a Krusty Krab. Cutting up the lettuce and everything. <laughs> That's not even the Karate Island episode. It's actually the one where uh, Sandy and Spongebob cannot stop, uh, cannot stop doing karate. <laughs> I like that episode, though. Mr. Krabs threatens to fire him. He's like, you do karate one more time, Spongebob, me boy. You're fired. But we got, well, we have Aqua Jet now, which is, it's the same base power, so it should do the same amount of damage. Yeah, it does the same amount of damage as Water Gun. Actually, they're two different. Water Gun is special or is Water Gun physical? That's my, that's a good question. Let's see. That's physical and that's special. So Aqua Jet will do more. Aqua Jet will do a little bit more because our physical attack stat is a bit higher. But Machops obviously has a higher defense than special. All those factors playing when you're battling it. You don't realize how many factors there are in Pokemon until you actually like sit down and like look at it all because there is so much going on. There is so much going on, but we can head down here, grab ourselves a nice lovely little X speed and keep moving on with the route. What is this? 207, I think. Move, big guy. Move, buddy old pal. We talk to this guy and we're going to get rolling over here. Onward. Onward. Another hiker guy. He has one Pokemon. Show me it to be like a graveler. Show me something that I can get some XP out of. Onyx, okay, you get more XP out of an Onyx than a, than a Geodude, so we'll take that all day. I think this thing has higher defense, so we are going to go for a special attack and water gun. I think it will do a little bit more. Let's do it. Hopefully we've one-shot it. Built. He's sturdy. This boy's sturdy. Has the sturdy ability. I think sturdy is a great ability. It's basically just a free focus ash without using the item. This thing's going to drop a smackdown, and we are just going to go for a swift. We only need one HP, so we might as well go for a guaranteed hitting move. Oh, yo, this episode is all about Buizel, my man. Buizel, go. We're going to get this. We are going to get this. I want to bomb him so bad. I want to get my boy Evoed. 
Clutch up, baby. Clutch up. We need the Evo. All right, let's roll out here. We have Rock Smash. I'm just going to get this item right here. And there is an extra patch of grass right here. Really nice. We can actually catch some new Pokemon if we want to. Get a Pokeball. There we go. Pokeball inside a Pokeball. You guys know how I feel about that. That's whack. That's whack. But new patch of grass here. We are actually almost done this route right here. There's Hearthroom City. So we got a few trainers here. So we are we are definitely going to be able to make it to Hearthroom. I thought this route was maybe a little longer. But I don't... Is a third gym in Hearthroom? It might be in a different city. Might be in a different city. Let's see. He's going to... Oh, Mime Jr. This guy can give me some mean XP. Oh, I thought it was... Uh, what's it called? Mr. Mime. My fault. Maybe it won't give me that much XP. But we're going to hit this thing with an Aqua Jet. See if we can get Teen off. Level 17. That ain't bad. Aqua Jet. Uh, hey. Built. Oh, I thought we were one shot on it. He's going to Encore me into an Aqua Jet. The Encore is a great, great move when playing, like, when playing competitive Pokemon. But, like, in main story, nah. Everyone's only using attacking moves. <clears throat> you, you'll, you like, never see me using, like, other moves that boost stats. Only sometimes. Like, we did it in the gym when we were reversing the uh, second gym leader. But, yeah, like, we would, we typically never do it. We typically never do it. Aqua Jet's gonna fly, dude. Weasel. Catching up the levels with Grotto, which is awesome. Oh, I thought that was gonna KO. I thought that was gonna KO. This thing's gonna fake tears. Drop my special defense. And yo, fake tears scares me, man. It definitely scares me. Oh no, we're encored into Aqua Jet. That's totally fine. But fake tears scares me because of uh playing VGC and Sword and Shield. And every time someone uses a fake a fake tears, you're like, oh no, he coming after me. He about to dump on me with a special attack here. That's the only thing I think of. There we go. Artist William is gone. He should have definitely had a Smeargle on the scene. How are you an artist and not rocking a Smeargle on your squad? You know what I'm saying? A Smeargle should be an absolute must. He should be an absolute must on the squad. But let's just give this thing a potion. Give it 20 more HP. And we'll get thriving here. But if you come down here, there is a guy just chilling here. And you can talk to him. And I believe he gives you, yep, the odd keystone. And this is actually used to actually get Spiritomb. So you need Spiritomb right here. There you go. Grab that. Grab that thing. But... Let over here, fight our last trainer on this route, and we're gonna get making our way to Hearthroom City. And then we can start having Togepi running around with us, which is dope. Gotta have that Togepi running around with us. Combi's gonna get sent out here. Little Combi. Little Combi. I love me some Combi. I think Combi's so sick. I do like Vespa Queen. I think Vespa Queen's cool. Oh, and I want to use Water Gun. But uh, Bite works. Bite works. Yep, Bite works. <laughs> Weasel snapping on this little B. I will take the XP. She's about to set out a Roselia, and I'm going to switch Pokemon here. I'm just going to go into my Grottle, so I really do not feel like Weasel taking a huge hit from, like, a Razor Leaf or a Magic Leaf. Something along those lines. We're just not dealing with Grass type of that. Grottle's going to fly out here. Like I said, we could actually head down and go grab ourselves another Pokemon in today's episode. Which I might do. Because if we're heading to the underground, we might as well level up our, our uh, Weasel to Floatzel and go grab ourselves a new Pokemon. It'll be great. It'll be great. That'll be four, and then we can just start training these guys and basically using this team for a good bet. Because this team, or these four that we're going to have, eventually have? Yes. Yeah, the four that we're eventually going to have, we're going to have them up until probably the sixth gym. And then that's when we get our next Pokemon, because one of them's super late towards the seventh gym. And then the other one is, like, we'll get them around the sixth gym. But totally, oh, what's on Metronome? And I really like this move. The reason I like this move is because... Well, I kind of like this moveset on him, but we're going to get rid of Future Sight. The reason I like this move is Metronome can use anything. It can be anything. It can use Sacred Fire. It can use, like, any move. It is nuts. I remember I used to, uh, me and my buddy used to, when we played uh, Diamond and Pearl, I used to have a Togepi, and I, we used to sit there constantly using Metronome just seeing what moves they were using. I thought it was so funny. I thought it was so funny, but we're going to run around this grass, see if there's any Pokemon that we can catch for our Pokedex. And there's a Psyduck. I think we have a Psyduck. Do we have a Duck? Do we have a duck for this YouTube playthrough? Let's see. We do not. We do not have a duck. Cool. So we're going to catch this thing right now. I'm going to drop a little bite on it. Drop its HP a little bit. Yo, perfect. Perfect, perfect. And this thing's going to confuse me. He's going he's gonna to hit me with the confusion, baby. And now I'm just going to throw one of my 11 Pokeballs. And hopefully we catch this thing right away. Don't feel like wasting time with him. Yes. Yes. Click it. Click it. Let's go. Click it, click it, baby. Oddly enough, I was trying to catch a Sneasel, and that thing has a high catch rate, or a low catch rate. I threw so many Pokeballs at it, dang Sneasel, on one HP too, on one HP, and it took me so long to get it. 
It took me so long to get it. But we're going to get another Psyduck here. I'm just going to run it. I think I'm going to do a few encounters here and then hop off. And hop off this route. This route, route. What do you guys call it? Route or route? Some people call it route. Some people call it route. I call it both. Like, I'm always saying one or like, I'm always saying a different one each time. And Babiro's here. I might actually KO this Babiro. Give me, might give me some nice XP. Might give me some nice XP. Now let's just run it. Let's just run it. We got to always see if we dope, dope, dope. And I think we're just going to head over to Hearthrum City. Awesome. Do, 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 do. Cool. I'm actually glad we were able to make it through this route. See, I called it route. See, I called it route. Last time I called it route. But I'm actually happy we were actually able to make it out of this route and to Hearthrum City in today's video. Because I thought we were going to get stuck in the middle of the route for recording for too long. But dope. Baneri's running away. This chick's like, hey, thank you for stopping my Baneri. Maybe you should come see me at the contest hall. But hey. We're not here to do contests. We're here to become a Pokemon champion. But where is the Poke Center? More importantly, first and foremost, we go to the Poke Center. And I believe it is up here to the top, right? Yep, right here. The Arshi Blows. Little, little Poke Center. Cool. So make your way to the Poke Center. Next, I want to go to Amenity Square. And that is where you can actually unlock the feature where Pokemon can follow you around. So that is going to be awesome. And I got to put Psyduck away. I totally forgot he's in a party. <laughs> My main man Psyduck just chilling in a party. Get on out of here, Psyduck. Get on out of here. Let's push him away. Psyduck, you gone. You gone. And our box is looking spiffy. We got Mew and Jirachi up in there. Mew and Jirachi chilling up in there. All right, cool. Let's dip. Let's go to Mini Square. Start getting our friendship up with our Togepi. Go to on my bike. And we should actually talk to her first. So this is actually the, gy the gym leader. So we have to talk to her. Actually, trigger this cutscene right here. And uh, just for the main story, just so we can uh, progress and start versing the gym maybe in the next episode. But she's out of here. She said, hey, I'm gone. But I actually don't think we verse her yet. I think we come back to this one. But where's the mini square? Should be straight up here, right? Yep, here it is. Right behind the gym. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's do it. So in order to actually just unlock the, the feature, you legit had to talk to this registration lady. And then uh, and then just walk out, I'm pretty sure. Take a stroll together. Here you go, Grottle. They say Grottle's the only one eligible until you just walk out. So there you go. You walk like that. You know, he walks around with you and then you leave. And you talk to her. Or enjoy your stroll. You try taking your Pokemon. I oh, know. We just leave. I think you just leave. And then she says something. Yep. You leave and then she's like, oh, you're a cool trainer. You can actually do this anywhere you want. Baby, bobby, boo, bobby. And I'm like, sure. Cool. Dope. Let's do it. And now I can walk around with Pokemon. Now I can have my Pokemon be friends with me. Look at that. Yo, Grottle. Look at him stomping around. Does he run? Why is he so slow? Oh, he's a turtle. Dude, he is so slow. All the other Pokemon will run. This dude is so slow. But but if you want to change your Pokemon, just go here and hit uh, walk together. Let's go. We're walking with Togepi now. Look, Togepi gets a move on. Loving it. So we're going to keep Togepi here. I don't think we can actually burst the gym. Let me see. Let me see. I'm going to hop down in here and see what he says. Or is this the third gym? I thought third gym was fighting. See what he has to say. Hey, how's it going, trainer? Tell me you're going to challenge a gym leader. Well, I hate to break it to you, but that's impossible. You're w you're wondering and the answer is she's not here. Come back another time. Yeah, so this is not our gym. All right, this is the fifth gym. This is actually the fifth gym. Let's see what our town map says we have to do. And it is, uh, I head over to the contest hall. So, yeah, we just have to head over into the contest hall. And I am going to do that real quick. Just trigger the cutscene and then head to the underground like I said I wanted to do. So... Let's just get everything ready for the next episode so we can just keep moving forward. And my mom's over here. And we just have to head into the contest hall. We don't have to do a contest or anything. You just have to head in there, trigger this cutscene, and then you get moving on with your life. Well, they actually talk about uh, ball customization. So you can actually customize your Pokeballs, which is actually a pretty cool feature. So depending on what Pokemon you want to throw out, you can put like stickers on it and make it have like a cool design when it pops out. So I do really like it all around. But she gives me a lovely little tuxedo. Thanks, Ma. Thank you, Ma. You the best. Oh, always, always make me look dapper. But it's weird. Like you see your mom at home, and then you like you run like nine towns over, and she's just chilling here, to, here to give you a tuxedo. Which I think is hilarious. So what's our next mission? Our next mission is to explore Heartthrum City. But we're actually going to be doing that in the next episode because your boy is heading to the underground. We're gonna have some fun with this one. Everybody loves the underground. I absolutely love it. I can legit just spend like a whole episode. I'll hit local communication. Uh, no, we do not want to do that. We do not want to do that. We want to go here, and we want to go solo play. 
But yeah, I can legit do a whole like five episodes in a row. Me just mining. Me just farming up here. And there is a little mine right here, and I kinda wanna do it. I kinda wanna do it. But I would love to find a one of the Pokemon that I'm looking for. So that is going to be our goal here. See if we can find any cool gemstones in here. Maybe a box. Oh, that's a big one. Start plucking this thing around. Yeah. Yo eat. Yo eat. Cool. So one down. There's two more in this thing. So we can break it open and find it. I have a feeling right here. I don't know why. Nope. Up here? How about you right here? What about this spot? Oh, there she is. Flower, she blows. One more. Uh, I'm thinking right down here. I don't know why. Here it is. Oh, look at that. Yes, sir. All three of the gems. Hand them over. Give me the gems. I'm now rich. I am now rich. But yo, let's get this Floatzel. Let's get this Floatzel, baby. I think it's 26, not 28. Do we have Buizel in the front? I believe we do. But I'm actually going to head over to this one right here. And hopefully it is the den where we can find the Pokemon that we want. Because my Buizel will also thrive. Also thrive there. Let's see what den it is. This is a spacious cave. And this is not the den we want. But I'm looking for Pokemon that we can beat up on. Any rock Pokemon that I can just slap up on. Maybe like Graveler. Some long signs. Anything up here? No, we're out of this cave. We're out of this cave. Let's go to the next one and keep looking for it. We are on the lookout. Let's do it. And let me actually uh, pull up the underground map. Because you can actually move while you're doing that. There's not many spots near me. Not many spots near me. So we got a little hike to go. There's a Diglett. If you guys do not know what the Diglets are, there are 40 and they constantly reset. So what they do is if you find all 40 of them in a, in a one time go, your shining chance will increase for, I think, like four minutes, which is pretty cool for shiny hunting. <clears throat> I think it's really cool for shiny hunting. That's what I really like about the underground. It's great post game stuff and you can do a lot here. We make our way to the Rocky Cave, which I don't, my Pokemon that I'm looking for is not going to be here, but there is a cool Pokeball. And it is Kamon. Oh, I do like Kamon. I do like Kamon and I am going to fight this Geodude. I'm going to fight this Geodude because I want to start getting XP. Gotta start getting my XP, baby. I want my next Pokemon, and I want him now. And I want him now. Weasel, you can do this. Let's get rocking with him. Weasel gets over here. Oh, yo, these things are level 29. That's not neat. Weasel, you should be able to outspeed. Things are level 29, and Weasel, yo, this is Weasel's spot right here. Level 29 Geodudes that we can one tap. I'm loving it. How much XP do we get? 422. Oh, my God. Weasel, this is your spot, dude. This is your spot. Right here, fighting all these Geodudes. We are fighting all these Geodudes. I'm telling you, we're getting a Floatzel. It better be 26. If I remember correctly, it is 26. Floatzel can one tap on these fools. Loving it. This one's level 25. The other one's, what was it, 29? That's nuts. Water gun should be able to take out. Ew. Get them out of here. Get them out of here. They do have better defense and special defense. That's why I'm using Water Gun than over Aqua Jet. That so works out well. 25 for Weasel, man. Really. Loving it. Loving it. Let's roll. Next, next Geodude, you're up. Get them all out of here. And after we kill this Geodude, we're just going to head to the next biome. Like I said, I got to find the biome that my fourth Pokemon for a squad is going to be on. Let's do it. Let's do it. This thing's 29. Right, we know Water Gun KO. Hopefully it's not sturdy. We do not like sturdy. Get him out of here. Oh, it's sturdy. What you mean? And we got a crit. Good old sturdy. What's he going to drop on me? He's going to bulldoze me. That's not stab. Whoa. Thing's tanking up on me. That was a heavy hit. He does drop our speed with that, but we have Aqua Jet, which is first turn priority. We can still have speed. That was a good amount of damage. We don't, we don't like that one bit. We didn't like that one bit. Dropping a bulldoze on me. Level 29. These things rip. Low key rip. Low key rip. Okay. Let's go here. We need a potion now. Give me a potion. The super potion here. That'll fill us up. And we are going to get a move on. Let's get a move on over to the next biome. I'm telling you, yo, we are finding my dog. We're finding my dog. My boy. You gotta find my boy. Bro. Hello, Diglett. How you doing? But it's funny. In the last, not the last episode, the be episode before that, we actually found Togepi, who was a 1% chance rather quickly. So if we, can't, if we can't find this guy and we can find Togepi super quick, that's crazy. Well, let's head up to this biome. See which one this one is. Show it to me, baby. Show it to me. What we got rocking? We got cooking. Ooh, this is the biome. This is the biome. I am liking this biome. Might fight that onyx. Might fight that onyx. There's a lot of scroopies in here. My buddy actually found a shiny scroopy, which is awesome. Which is super cool. But we're gonna fight this onyx just for the XP. And shiny scroopy's sick. He's like a pinkish reddish. I don't even know what color to like. 
identify it as, but it's really sick. Let's go for a water gun. Water gun should be able to just one tap it. Hopefully it's not sturdy. Show me not sturdy. Mm. Why are these things so sturdy, man? I don't like it. I don't like it. This thing's gonna screech. Okay, cool. But he's not gonna hit me. I dig that a lot. I dig that a lot. He's just gonna drop my defense. Can we get our Pokemans? Can we get our Pokemans? Go for our Aqua Jet and finish this thing off. Oh, yo, Buizel. We got we a Bobby, man. We got a Bobby. My goals were set from the beginning. Make it Hearthroom City and a Bob Buizel. Those are my two. And we're looking good on them. We're looking good on them. Let's head out of here. Oh, where's that exit at? I think it should be right here. I'm going to head in and out and respawn the Pokemon. Respawn the Pokemans. Where's my dude at? Where's my dude at? Can he spawn? I'll fight another Onyx, too. There is one over here. Anyone out here? Oh, you're me. Bunch of Skroopies, man. I don't want to deal with the Skroopies. Thanks, Skroopy. <laughs> dude, five Skroopies? Come on, man. No, we're not dealing with the Skroops. We're not dealing with them. What we got over here? Who's spawn? We got an Onyx. We're going to fight that thing. Uh, let's fight the Onyx. Let's fight the Onyx. Let's fight the Onyx, baby. Let's fight it. A wild Onyx has spawned. All right, let's do it, please. Let's do it, please. Kill this thing. This thing doesn't have sturdy. I'm telling you, it doesn't have sturdy. Ooh, it outspeeds me. We don't like that one bit. We don't like that one bit, but it's it's fine because we're gonna be able to water gun, and then we have Aqua And he does not have sturdy. Huge KO there. That is awesome. That is dope. So. He goes down for the count. Weasel's going to go to 470. One more battle and we get him. We are going to kill two birds with one stone here because we're going to be trying to capture this lovely Pokemon right here. This Hound Doom. This is what we want on our squad. A nice... <gasps> oh my lord. No way! No way! Are you kidding me? Yo, we gotta catch it! We gotta catch it! A shiny Houndoom? Oh my lord. Yo, no way. We go for an Aqua Jet here. We bring, that brings it down to half. He's gonna use Beat Up. That might kill me. That might kill me. Actually, it only hits one time. Oh my lord. Um, Swift will not kill. Swift will not kill. We're gonna go for Swift. He's gonna taunt me. Dude. A shiny Houndoom for a playthrough. We gotta catch it. We gotta catch it. Can we start throwing Pokeballs or let's go for another Swift. Eat this up. Eat this up. He eats. Okay, cool. I flinched. Do I go for a Pokeball here? Do I have an Ultra Ball? I could go Togepi and try to yawn this thing. That might be my play. Because I want to keep Weasel alive. I want the XP. Oh my lord, dude. If I do not catch this thing, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. Togepi gets out there. He's gonna taunt. Oh, okay, so we have to attack or throw a Pokemon. I'm just gonna start throwing Pokeballs. Dude, no way. How many? What do we have? Do we have an Ultra Ball? We do not have an Ultra Ball. Let's start off with Pokeballs. Come on, yo. Give me the Wiggles, man. Come on, catch it right here. Yes. No. No, 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 no. No. Beat up's gonna come out here. My boy's gonna be able to eat that up. So once our taunt wears off, then we're going to try to put this thing to sleep. Holy God. Pokeball coming out here. Catch this thing. Dude, no way. How do you use Destiny Bond? That's fine. That's fine. We just don't want him to hit him up. We just don't want him to hit up on my Togepi. We shook off the taunt. Let's go for a yawn. Let's put this thing to sleep. It will make everything a lot easier for when we, uh, when we go for the capture. So we're going to use that. I do not want to go for Ancient Power because Ancient Power has potential to kill. Let's just throw another Pokeball at this thing. Come on, man. Come on. It's tough. We just need to go to bed. Destiny Bond's going to fly out here. And I probably should have swapped next turn. I should probably should have swapped. But we're going to go for the capture here. Shiny Houndoom! That is nuts. Give me this capture. Come on, baby. This thing's asleep. This thing is asleep. Capture it. Yo, I swear. I swear. Let's swap. Let's bring this thing's health down a little bit. Do we think I'm, I don't think a Mega Drain's gonna kill. Mega Drain should not kill. Let's swap into Grotto. Hopefully this thing is still asleep. He woke up. Please do not go for a fire move. He goes for Destiny Bond. Oh my lord. Yo, this is like a battle of the century. Mega Drain in here. I knew he was gonna use beat up. 
I don't think he has a fire move, so we should be chilling with Guadal out here. Mega Drain's gonna fly. Okay. Slowly chipping away health. Let's go for a Rage Leaf next turn. Let's go for a Rage Leaf. Yo, I'll play this one slow. I will play this one slow. I didn't take like a double look at this thing. Like, I looked at this Pokemon. I was like, dude, dude is that like the lighting? Is the lighting weird? And then this thing sparkled. <sighs> Almost killed it. Almost killed it. Let's throw some more Pokeballs out. We have six Pokeballs left. And then a Dust Ball and a Great Ball. Can we catch this thing, please? Please! Please! Please, yo. Please. Come on. Come on. Yes. Yes. Yes, click it. Oh my god, let's go. Let's go. That is so hype. A Pokemon that I wanted on my team. We got a shiny. And Buizel levels up to 36 or 26. So it should evolve. Everyone's getting levels. Everybody's going off today. Yes, dude. Now we can add a shiny animated sprite to our, our thing. And there's our Fozel. Yo, what an episode. What an episode. That is just crazy. That is nuts. That is so sick. That is so sick. Look at that. Floatzel on the squad, too. What a way to finish this. Congratulations, your Buizel Bob to Floatzel. Does he want to learn a move? Do you want to learn a move? No, he does not. But yo, give me my shiny Pokemon. Yo, look at him. He's blue. He's blue. Oh, my God. That is so sick. Let's check him out. Let's check him out real quick. 27 shiny, dog. Shiny. I see a summary. Oh, no. I want to see some here. Look at that shiny. He has modest nature, so his special attacks up, his attacks down, but he's physical attack. Actually, this one's special attacking. Has a high special attacking, so we'll probably roll out with special attacking moves, which is great all around. And then his move set isn't too good, but we will definitely get it better. But guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. As in the next episode, we're gonna be making our way to the, towards the third gym and using our brand new shiny houndoom. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.